this is Stampy and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. A video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video I am going to be joined by Alpha Lee and you haven't come from your normal place Lee, I just looked over here and you, you didn't come from there. Hello Lee, there we go, that's better. <laughs> I know where I am with you now and oh here's my breakfast, oh I forgot about this, I forgot about my amazing diet. Right, yeah let me just enjoy this very nice tasty looking apple. Oh yeah, that was so filling. I really love that. <laughs> I know the second I'm going to leave this room, you're going to eat that cake. I know what you're like, Lee. You're going to be a hypocrite. You're going to tell me to eat all of the fruit. Then the second I turn my head, you're going to be shoving loads of candy down your mouth or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, in this video, I'm going to be continuing building what I was building in my last video. Uh, but first, I'm going to give someone a shout out. And today, I'm shouting out Dragon Blast 516 And uh, that's actually because his dad... Um, sent me a picture of his birthday cake, which was me. It was Stampy Cat. And uh, I'm not just adding him because he uh, sent me a picture of a cake, but that is a good way to get added to my love garden. I just thought it was a really awesome cake. And yeah, I wanted to add Dragon Bar uh, Blast to my love garden. So happy birthday. Uh, I know it's late, but still, uh, welcome to my love garden. And if you don't know what my love garden is, by the way, uh, it's basically a place where I go and give someone a shout out for some reason, whether it's um, sending me a picture that they did or uh, a cake, as obviously this one was, or just a funny comment. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, I decide to give someone a shout out. I just add their name to my love garden. And yeah, that's how you get in. But don't please keep asking to get in my love garden because wait a minute, what's this? Squid's room. Is this, is this Squid's new bedroom? Is he just, is he in here living with the, uh, the dogs? What's he got in here? He's got a load of signs, some roses, some boots, and all sorts in here. And was this his lovely backdrop here? <laughs> That's because um, Squid actually got kicked out of his room. We had a competition uh, a few videos ago, and Amy actually won Squid's room. So I guess um, he's had to go and move somewhere else. Right then, which dog shall I take with me today? Um, I'm, I was actually quite sad. I, I know what I need to do. I need to remove all... Oreo sign. I don't know if you saw the last video, but Oreo sadly did die in that video, and um, I wasn't sure at the time whether he did, but I watched the video back, and yeah, he definitely did die. He drowned, and that was really sad, so uh, let's take another dog with me. Sorry, dogs. I promise you that I'm going to look after you more than I did with Oreo, and uh, I'm going to take the Arbiter. A lot of people pointed out I don't take the Arbiter with me very much, so uh, I think I'm going to take the Arbiter with me today, so would you like to join me? <laughs> I think he just shook his head at me there. I don't think he does want to look after and um, come with me. It's okay. Trust me. You're going to be fine. I'm, this is going to be a very safety conscious video. And I'm going to make sure I don't take um, you into any dangerous situations. And go on, Leap. After you, mate. You fly off first. I'll fly off after you. Nope. Okay, I'll go first then. Oh, he's always oh, left one in here for me. What does this say? From Lee. Oh, he left me a little minecart down here. <laughs> that does kind of make up for the fact that uh, you're making me eat apples throughout all of these videos. He left me a little minecart down then. I didn't have to get it out of the chest. <laughs> anyway, um, let's talk about what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm going to be trying to get this dog out of this minecart. There's dogs everywhere. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be going back to... Oh, he's got another one for me. Oh, no, that's his. All right, go on, Lee. You go first. That one bears first, you know the saying. Yeah, so in my last video, I started building a fishing game, which is called Fish Me A Dish. And um, yeah, I didn't make that much progress on it. I started it, but uh, I'm determined to try and get it done. Uh, if not in this video, at least within the next video. So uh, yeah, I'm basically going to be carrying on with that. And I'm going to explain it uh, a little bit more when I get over there. And yeah, I'm basically doing it in the design of a diner. It's going to be like a restaurant. And it is just a game. It's not actually going to be selling food or anything. But seeing as the game was called Fish Me A Dish, and it's all about ca uh, catching and cooking fish, uh, it seemed just like uh, quite an ideal theme to do and I did a little bit of work um, after the last video and uh, you can see that Amy finished off the um, the front of the uh, the cat's head here and uh, I did a bit more work on the roof. Let me very quickly uh, hop up onto the roof here and I'll show you uh, what I've done. I didn't do much work to be honest. I just sort of uh, finished off what I didn't do in the video. So you can see I added some glass here as uh, quite a nice roof and uh, this bit goes raised. And uh, the reason this bit is raised is one, uh, so the building doesn't look like a massive block, because I always hate that. And uh, also because that's where I'm going to be hiding all of the redstone for the game, so uh, it just needed to be a little bit higher. Uh, but before any of us get to any work, uh, I think it's only fitting that we do pay our respects to Oreo. And there you can see uh, Lee just having a quiet moment. Have you got some sort of, any gift, any sort of offering for him in his memory? 
One piece of iron. Well, what can I throw down? Um, I guess seeing as it was an Oreo, a piece of bread uh, might be quite a nice thing to throw down. You can see the dogs there as well. Do the dogs want to sit down then next to Oreo's grave and sort of say goodbye to their friend throughout this video? Hopefully they'll stay uh, a little bit safer if they're just staying sitting down there anyway. <laughs> anyway, to work. So... Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building inside here, which is going to look like a restaurant. And uh, while I'm doing that, my Minecraft helpers are going to be building the kitchen. So um, as you can see right now, it's just a big empty space in here. But they're going to be hopefully uh, making it look a little bit more like a kitchen. And then uh, once I've got this room done, I'm going to go in there and uh, help build the actual game. So it'd be good um, if we're very quick... Uh, to try and get a little practice mock-up game in before the end. Like, there's a lot of redstone going in, so uh, I know we're not going to get this completely finished, but uh, it'd be quite nice to have some sort of little mock-up of the game. And so, yeah, I'm going to try and design this uh, to make it look like a diner. That can be the counter there. Um, I can do a, uh, do a few seats around here. And so if I, if I go and get a bunch of fences uh, from here uh, as the uh, the tables, and I could do some some pressure pads. I think I'm going to do uh, some stone pressure pads just so everything in there doesn't look like it's made out of wood. I'm going to do a few more fences. I don't think I made enough. Uh, so they can be the seats. Oh, I need some of uh, the sides of the seats as well. I need a few signs for that. Uh, so if I go and make a bunch of them, is there anything else I need? Oh, I'm not I'm not really sure. I think that should just about do it. And hello, Rosie. Where, where have you been? Are you paying your respects? Are oh, you throwing down a nice piece of melon? Oreo's got quite a nice little collection there. And I like to think that he's looking down at us from doggy he heaven right now. And he's got a little smile on his face at all of the little gifts he's just managed to get. <laughs> right, so yeah, let's carry on building in here. Let's um put down some fences for the tables. Are you okay, Lee? Oh, I haven't told you what I'm you've got to make it out of. Yeah, this is right. You need um snow and... A black wall checkered floor and the walls are just going to be smooth stone and so the walls will all go like one in like around the side don't worry about covering up the brick and yeah so that, that's basically how it's got to be so hopefully uh, Rosie will be able to help you with that so it won't take too long and as I, the sun is already going down <laughs> it always amazes me how much I manage to waste time in these videos before uh, I actually start building anything uh, but here we go we're finally getting to work now so if there can be a um, there could be like a bigger table here I guess if I just use uh, wooden planks here it could be like bigger tables kind of like I could do like booths you know you see like in films and that where they have like little booths that people sit in I could do that and I also want to get some uh, some stairs as well so I can put them down so let's go uh, make a bunch of stairs here uh, which can be like the tables I don't know if this is too much wood though uh, I do like the dark wood though. I'm actually actually do some um some stone tables actually might look quite cool like not tables or um stairs for like the seats so if I get some, I've got smooth stone on me, so I need to make the smooth stone into smooth stone brick, and then I make that into stairs. I think I just made all of my smooth stone into stairs, but uh, it doesn't matter too much. And uh, one of these can be the uh, the till as well, and I also uh, want to make a trap door as well while I'm here. Right, here we go, on with my, my decoration. So these can be the, the seats down here. Lovely jubbly. And oh no, I missed. <laughs> and then I can put the, the signs onto the seats. I'm building really rubbish. I seem to be all over the place today. I think I'm still a little bit uh, shook up over the fact that Oreo died, to be honest. And it's going to take me uh, a while to get back to my, my normal self. But uh, hopefully that this will look quite cool once it's finished. I just kind of like the idea of not making it look like a standard like theme park. Like when I started building my fun land, I was building all like roller coasters and golf courses and stuff and all quite realistic things like that. You would actually get in a theme park but I've kind of sort of moved over to sort of just putting in just fun little games for us to play I don't know if it's a bit more fun like a roller coaster is fun but it's basically just a glorified minecart track you know you go around by yourself you whiz around a bit and that's the end of it but a game like this you can keep playing over and over again and you can have like little tournaments and stuff I think it's just a bit more exciting isn't it and uh, this is starting to look okay if I put a few uh, signs down on here and uh, I think it's about time uh, I have something to eat. So Lee, can I have um, can I have some like cake or something? Have you got any cookies on you? Do you want to have a little sit down here? And do you want to do you want to put a cake down on this table? And uh, we can eat that up. And uh, just as a little break, just as a little treat. I know I'm on a diet, but I'm allowed to have a treat every now and then. Yeah, can I can I have a, a cake or anything, please, Lee? Oh, is he actually giving? Is he actually giving me a cake? I think it might have to be a floating cake. Yeah, a floating cake. <laughs> That's my favourite type of cake. I love floating cakes. <laughs> I can't believe how easily I managed to trick Lee into giving me a cake as well. I thought that'd be much harder than that. <laughs> right, okay, I think I'm going to do the same here, but I might do um, I don't know, just make it out a bit bigger. 
Uh, I, don't, I think I just do it there. Like, I don't want the tables to be too big because I don't want to take up too much room uh, because I do actually need some uh, redstone stuff inside this room as well. So I want to make sure that I got some spare space. So um, if I just do it like uh, that and then do the same on the other side. And then once I've done the counter and uh, done the till and stuff, and then I can go and start trying to build the kitchen. And um, I don't have too big of a plan for how it's going to be. Uh, but I guess I can go and try and work it out in this video. So I'll put these down here. Uh, I'm going to do a nice little trapdoor so I can get behind. And this is also going to be the um, the starting point for the game. There's going to be a, um, a lever in the middle behind here. And when you pull that... There'll be a few seconds delay and then everyone has to start their fishing. So uh, this is quite an important place as well. So I just put a trapdoor there. And I might put a trapdoor on the other side as well. Just just because I made two and I can't be bothered uh, to leave one filling up my inventory. Uh, so yeah, here we go. This is how it's going to be. I'm going to put my little till down here. And here we go. I got... Uh, what was it? The Kitty Kitchen, I decided to call this place. This is what the Kitty Kitchen looks like. And I just realised I used the um the wrong blocks for the, uh, the seats here. But it doesn't matter. It's a nice bit of variety. And so, yeah, let's go in and uh, try and help out building the kitchen. It looks like they've made some good progress here as well. Like, they've almost finished the entire floor. Do I have any snow on me? I don't. Right, I need to go and try and grab some um, some more smooth stone. And Finball joined. Finball can help out building. <laughs> How are you doing, mate? Welcome to the game. He's absolutely mesmerized to see me. You can see that he's standing completely still. <laughs> right, I've got a bunch of smooth stone in here. Uh, so I can grab some of that. Um, there's some here for you as well, Fimble, if you want some. Uh, if not, feel free to go around and play around on the fun land. <laughs> there's lots of roller coasters and stuff. And watch out, by the way. I can see a creeper in the distance. And he's coming this way, Fimble. Watch out. <laughs> he's, he, he edged this way. He teased us. I got a good shot in there. Look at that aim. I'm, I'm rubbish with the bow and arrow. Check out, check out my practice here. Take out a zombie as well. I've not missed a shot yet. Shall I see how long I can shoot googlies for until I miss my first shot? And I know I've pulled it back, but I can't see anything. Here we go. I've got a 100% accuracy so far this video. I'm normally awful at like Hunger Games and stuff. And I'm trying to shoot arrows, but now I'm under pressure as the googly's getting close. No, get back, get back, get back. Why isn't it dead yet? One more to the face. <gasps> that was close. <laughs> that was close. There's a really fun thing you can do where you just fire loads of arrows really high up into the sky. And then you've got to try and catch them. <laughs> it's a bit of a dangerous game, but if you try and hit yourself, it's really hard, but it's quite good fun. And oh, so close. Oh, there we go. I caught one. I caught one of my arrows. I don't know. Sparky's going after me. Why is the dog go after me? Why did Sparky kill me? Was that was that one of Lee's arrows that hit me? What happened then? Oh no, I'm on the way back here. <laughs> Our progress has been almost completely halted. Right, let's go and try and get back to the fun land as soon as we can. Why did why did that dog attack me? Was that one of Lee's arrows or something? That, that, that wasn't um the Arbiter, was it? That, that was Sparky, wasn't it? Why would the Arbiter attack me? Was he trying to get revenge because Oreo died while I was trying to look after him? Oh no, I was, I was supposed to try and get the kitchen done. I got distracted once again. I get distracted by one of my silly little games and then it ends up with someone getting hurt. That's how it always happens. The Arbiter, was that you? Did you do that to me? You better not have. If I'm going to watch this video back and I'm going to find out who did it. And if that was Sparky, Sparky's going to be in trouble. And if that was you, the Arbiter, you can give me your best puppy eyes. I don't care. You are going to be in trouble because of that. And I've just realised how lackadaisical and, like, confident I was trying to get here. But it's night time and all the googlies are out. And hello, Amy! Amy, there's a creeper behind you! Oh, no, he's going to get me! I need help! Someone save me! I'm in the tunnel. I'm in the colourful tunnel and I've got nothing. And there's a creeper on the other side. Um, how need help? Watch out, Amy! He's right behind you! There's a creeper behind you! Right, go back! Go back! Go back this way! Go take- I've got nothing! I've not got a sword or anything! Um, you're not gonna be much use because you're scared of creepers. Right, I'm just gonna have to dart. I'm just gonna have to go and try and run past it without it getting me. Go, 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 go! Have I got it? I got past! Oh, is it a friendly creeper? Is it a friendly one? Oh, it's a friendly creeper! Oh, I think it's Agatha's sister! Oh, I think this is Betty Boo Boo! This is- this is Agatha's sister, Betty Boo Boo! How are you doing today? Uh, don't- she doesn't like girls! No, she doesn't like girls, Amy! Stay away! Stay away! No, don't attack Betty Boo Boo! Leave her alone, Lee! Oh, you've set her on fire! Betty Boo Boo! Oh! Poor Betty Boo Boo just died down here. Oh, she she's always really nice, but she gets jealous of other girls, you see. She always gets jealous of other humans because, you see, she was born a creeper, but she was raised by humans, and she always felt, like, a little bit out of place. But she loved playing with humans because all of her best friends were humans. But, like, 
I don't know, whenever there was like another girl or someone, she'd always get a bit jealous, you know, because she's got the green skin and they don't have any hair or anything, you know. She just felt like she didn't fit in. And oh, that's so sad. Anyway, anyway, enough distractions, enough silliness. Let, let's get this thing built, shall we? Let's, let's see what progress has been made in my absence. <laughs> Probably a lot more than would, would have been made if I was here. And what's that? What's, <laughs> what's this big thing here? This is where all the redstone's going up there, Lee. <laughs> that's, that's why the ceiling's so high. <laughs> right, okay, so let's, let's start doing the walls then. So the walls are going to be uh, made out of smooth stone the entire way around the outside here. And then once we've uh, got most of this done, uh, I'm going to start building the actual game mechanics. Actually, I might do that first. If you guys carry on uh, building the walls around the outside, Lee, and if you try and, <laughs> try and leave the middle bit here empty because uh, this is where the actual game's going to be played. And uh, have I got all my stuff back? i got my boots back. That way I won't get cold feet. And uh, I think I've got uh, pretty much everything that I'm going to need. So, and oh, what's this? Um, oh, I got some of my tools back as well. And so the way it's going to work is uh, all the way um, along, I think we do it along here, uh, there's going to be these little half slabs. And then above, there's going to be blocks that get knocked down. Because if you see, if there's a block there, you can't fit through there. If I try and walk through that, I can't get through. And so that's going to stop people from getting into the actual game. Uh, but they can still do the fishing. And then there's going to be pistons uh, that will push these blocks down to block off the areas. So once that's there, you can't really get your fishing rod through that tiny gap. Oh no, you just about can, but uh, there won't be any holes right there, so that won't really matter. Uh, so yeah, that's the way we're going to uh, stop people from uh, cheating once like time's up and stuff. So uh, if I do the half slabs along the... Um along the same side along here. And I love the little gaps that people have left there for the torches. <laughs> you can get rid of the torches and put them back on top. That is okay. I won't be annoyed by that. <laughs> right, so yeah, if I do um half slabs along the same bit along here, and then... Um, yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to be. As I said, I'm not going to do all the redstone in the video because uh, I don't want to put you through watching me trying to do redstone because it is quite painful. And so what the middle bit is going to be is like rows of counters and it's going to be exactly symmetrical uh, to the middle. Right, so let me try and find out where the middle is. So we got uh, one, two, three. Actually, let's try and guess the middle because that's always the easiest way to do it and then sort of judge it from there. So I'm guessing that's the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to do a double there. So that, that is the middle here. This is marking the middle. And so there's going to be right in the very centre here, there's going to be a hole where the water's going to be. And uh, I just realised I haven't got any buckets on with me, so I can't do the uh, the water yet. But basically, uh, underneath here, there's going to be a little hole full of water. And is this the exact middle? Uh, it looks kind of central. One, two, three, four, five... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there we go. So this is the exact middle. So this is going to be uh, one of the areas where you can get fish from. And hopefully this does make sense. I know I'm very bad at explaining it. Like, once it's built, once we can play, it'll all make perfect sense. But right now, it's probably a bit confusing. And then there's going to be uh, two more holes, one on either side. Uh, so there's going to be one here, like, very close, about here, I reckon. And then this is going to be the same. So it's going to be... Uh, a little 4x4. Four four. There we go. I got, I got a bucket of water. Jolly good. I can start uh, filling some of these in. So that is going to be uh, like that there. Then it's going to be the exact same on the other side. And so when you start off on this side, you're going to be getting the hole which is right in front of you. But then once you get to the other side, it's going to be like really far away. Uh, so that way it sort of gets harder as it goes along. So um, if I go and try and do the same on here and go... How was it? Two in and two in there. So, oh, sorry, sorry, Arbiturp, didn't mean to do that. Sorry, you got in the way as I was trying to destroy a block. <laughs> no hard feelings, mate. Even though you did possibly kill me. <laughs> I think in the next mission, uh, the next uh, video, sorry, we need to do a bit of a detective story where we need to... Pick people, please stop jumping in front of me while I'm trying to destroy stuff. Sit down, the Arbiter, sit down. No, play friends, play friends. I've not got any meat to give him. Quick, run away, Lee. <laughs> run away, Lee. <laughs> what is it with people when you're trying to destroy a block and they just sort of jump in front of you? <laughs> It's as bad as it is with dogs as it is with bears. <laughs> right, so let's put this snow down in here. And uh, let's try and fill these up. I need one more bucket of water. Uh, just so I can make an infinite water source. Uh, then I can go and fill them all up. So is there one in here? I don't think there is. No, there isn't. Alright, let's uh, grab this bucket of water. So see if I can take out that creeper. I'm kind of enjoying fighting creepers. Oh, I haven't got my um, I haven't got my bow and arrow anymore. I was going to go use my bow and arrow, but I can't anymore. Right, looks like I'm going to have to go in with my old trusted sword. <laughs> it's always really easy because it's got massive knockback. So it always uh, knocks the, uh, the creepers flying. Right, let's grab some water here. 
Uh, then I can make an infinite water source and then I can go and uh, fill it all up and then I'm going to kind of try and explain to you how the game will be. So uh, let me just try and fill that in there and then fill this in here. What's going on? What's going on with the dog? What's going on with the dogs? Oh no, get the dogs away from each other, Lee! Get the dogs away from each other! Are they, are they okay? What, what's, what's happened? Who's that? Oh, is that Sparky? Oh, did the Arbiter die? What, no? Where, where, where's the Arbiter? What happened? I heard the dogs fighting with each other. Can you put it down a sign, Lee, and tell me what happened? I heard all the fighting going on. What is it with the dogs? What is it? Is there, is there something in their food that's been making them act all crazy recently? <laughs> what, is go what is going on around here? <laughs> it's been such a crazy video about everything that's been going on. Right, okay, while he's writing that sign, uh, don't get rid of it, Lee. I'm just going to start uh, filling in the water so I can uh, hopefully properly explain how this game is going to be before the end of the video. Uh, so if I do that, then I'm going to make an infinite water source. And then I can just uh, fill all of these up. If I go and fill that up in there, and then uh, I go grab some more. And so the way it's going to work is... Uh, have I got a fishing rod on me? Still there we go. i still got a fishing rod on me. So I will start, say if I'm starting on this side, there'll be a person on the other side who's going to be way over there. I start off on this hole and I have, say, a minute in order to try and catch a fish. So I need to try and catch a fish from in there. And uh, hopefully I'll catch a few. And then there's going to be some furnaces here, which I use to cook them. And then after about a minute, a doorway here is going to shut. And then this one will open. And so then we're both going to be fishing in that middle one and trying to get a fish from there. And as you can see, it's quite difficult. It's quite difficult to uh, get it in. Then hopefully we'll catch a fish from there and cook that. And then eventually I'm going to be over on that one over there, which is miles away, as they're trying to get this one here. And uh, whoever gets the most fish by the end of the game, they win. Uh, so all we need to do is do some counters along here and some furnaces and stuff uh, to make this look more like a kitchen. Uh, and then it's completely finished. But before I end the video, I'm going to go out here and see what see, see what Lee's wrote in the side. I was writing a little story down here. Because uh, I ran in front of you, your dog attacked me. Me, then mine dog attacked yours. Oh no! Did it get the Arbiter? Did it kill him? Did Sparky kill the Arbiter? No, it did. Two in a row. Two dogs dying in a row. I can't believe that. I can't believe how bad the luck's been. Right. Looks like in the next video, we're not going to have a detective story to find out what was going on. We're going to have to do another grave down there. And looks like Lee's already starting it now. Right, so sorry for the second video in a row. We've got to end with a sad dog death. I need to be more careful. This was supposed to be the safety video. I can't believe that. That's so sad. Right, well, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Uh, there'll be a link in the description to the next part of my Let's Play once it's online. And yeah, I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye!